When you think of making something from scratch, you might think of a cake or a craft project. You wouldn't usually think of making an organ like a kidney from scratch. But that's what scientists like me are trying to do. So why would you make a kidney from scratch? Well, imagine a scientist, yep, that's me, who needs to study a rare genetic kidney disease caused by a single typo in a child's genetic code. She can't get samples to study from the patients because it's a rare disease. Mice with this genetic typo don't even develop to the stage where they have kidneys, so that's not a good model. Plus, animal research can pose some ethical issues as well. She could take some healthy kidney cells, grow them on a plastic dish, and mutate them so they have the typo she's studying. But there's only so much you can learn from cells in a dish. Our bodies are complex environments, and our cells, like us, don't act the way they should if they don't feel at home. And there's no plastic in our kidneys, I hope. This is when we build a kidney, to make those cells feel at home and behave like they're in a real kidney. So, what goes into building a home? First, we need the structural stuff. Floors, walls. For cells, that's extracellular matrix, the goo that cells usually live in. Next, we need a way of getting things into and out of the house, doors and windows. Cells in the body are always getting fresh supplies of molecules like sugars and oxygen via the blood. So to mimic this in our model, we make tube-shaped structures to flow liquids full of such nutrients through. Now finally, how do we turn this house into a home? By adding friends and family. Cells don't normally live in isolation. Their behavior is affected by the many other cell types they interact with. Now the scientists can study the cells in something like their natural environment, and she can look at key kidney functions and how they might be affected in diseases. But modeling diseases isn't the only potential use of this device. The part of the kidney this device mimics is the part that is most easily damaged by medications like those used to treat cancers. By trying out drugs on this human kidney model, scientists may more accurately predict side effects than with typical lab methods or using mice. Models like these are still in their infancy. The model I described here, the one I'm building, only represents part of the kidney, a very complex organ. But as more and more of these models develop, scientists can combine their work to get one step closer to building a kidney from scratch. <laughs>